All right, welcome back to our virtual event. We've got a stacked lineup for you tonight with a lot of pupperoos for all you family members out there looking to adopt. So we're going to have some fun. We're going to watch the dogs have some fun. And uh, hopefully we'll figure out which pupperoos fits your family. So we're going to get started with our first one tonight, who is Albert. Give me one second to spotlight Albert for everybody. All right, Albert, it's your time to shine. All right. Hello, everybody. This is gorgeous, handsome, wonderful, sweet Albert. Prince Albert, we call him sometimes. Uh, he is uh, about a year old and about 55 pounds. Some sort of probably shepherd mix, question mark. Uh, he has very soft fur, long fur. I know we sort of people think he looks like a lab, but he doesn't have lab fur. He's got softer fur than that and thicker than that. Um, he is an absolute doll. He gets along great with other dogs. He loves to play with them uh, and will play with them, run around the backyard, which is what he does with my three-year-old pup. Um, and even my grumpy 11-year-old pup uh, actually likes Albert <laughs> and will play with him a little bit as much as she plays. And he knows where those boundaries are and he doesn't push it. So he's got a lot of... Uh, emotional dog intelligence I would say um he was just playing with this puzzle he's a smart boy he does like to play with puzzles um he is house trained and crate trained he walks pretty well on a leash we're working a little bit on that um I'm not sure how he is with cats I haven't cat tested him he seems to be very good with small children I don't have any of my own anymore they're all grown but at the event that we were at last weekend he seemed very good with small kids who don't always know their boundaries um okay and I see SD is telling me yes he's good with cats so and I'm not surprised because he really is a live and let live kind of guy. Uh, he rides beautifully in the car. He just gets in and lays down, uh, not a peep out of him. And uh, he has no toy or food aggression that I can uh, determine. And you can see he's fine with me putting my hand here. I don't tend to take his food away from him. I don't think that's a good idea ever to do. But um, when I tell him that I need a toy away from him or something like that, he doesn't, he doesn't give me a hard time at all. Uh, he does love, as I said, he loves to play in the backyard, play ball, run around, uh, but he is equally happy to totally lounge in the house. But I would say he's medium energy and would do best with a family that was going to keep him uh, intellectually and physically stimulated, so that's um i think that's all that's all i've got for albert at the moment he's so cute trying to figure out that puzzle <laughs> <laughs> he's trying hard though he's like if i keep pushing it on my tongue it'll move <laughs> exactly <laughs> and he knows that there's treats in there somewhere because every time he opens one he's like oh this tastes like a treat but if there's nothing there <laughs> yeah. keep at it buddy you'll get it yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, guys, that is Albert. If you have any questions, you can utilize a chat, just like SD did there, telling us about uh, Albert and the cat. If you have anything, you can throw it in there. We have people on that will answer those questions for you. And if there's time later, I can always circle back to another proper room for you. So you can take a look as to uh, answer any other questions. But with that, bye, Albert. You did such a great job, Cutie. Yes, you did with those ears. Look at those big old ears. <laughs> I love it. All right. Have fun, buddy. All right. Enjoy that puzzle. <laughs> All right. We're going to jump over to our next presenter, who is Daisy. Give He's me one second and smile like Daisy as we say goodbye to the cutie, Albert. <laughs> All right, guys. Here is Daisy. Hi, everyone. So this is um, Miss Daisy, we call her. She's about four years old and she's uh, 77 pounds. She's a bit overweight, so she's on a weight loss plan. 
um, which involves walking and to say that she's um, really great on a leash. She walks really, really well on a leash. Um, she is um, good and playful. Playful with other dogs. People can hit a camera. She's playful with other dogs. Um, she gets a little vocal when she plays, but it's not nasty. It's just uh, it's just how she it's just how she plays. Um, and she's really good if um, like my dog doesn't is a little bit older, so doesn't necessarily like to play all the time. So if I tell her to stop and just leave it, she'll totally walk away, which is great. Um, in that regard, she's really obedient as well. So I have videos of her like, you know, going to her bed. I tell her to go to her bed or when it's time to eat, she'll go right to her crate um, for dinner time. Um, you know, she, if she, even if she's interested in something, she'll really take my command over, um, what she's interested in, um, from my experience. Uh, she's good in the car and she's really chewing on this little bone thing. <laughs> she's good in the car. Um, she rides very well in the car. She jumps right up on in. Um, she, uh, really does well outside. So we have a fenced in yard. So she does well outside. She loves to explore. And, um, she, when we've had these sunny days, she lays down and, um, just lays down in the sun and enjoys that, um, with my dog as well. Um, as far as cats, she's quite curious about, um, cats. She has been right face to face with my cats until my cat got a little scared and kind of swatted her in the face. And then she just didn't kind of know, know what to do with all of that. So she, uh, uh, she, um, you know, I, I think she would just have to be, uh, you, you just have to kind of manage, manage that. Um, but like I said, um, when I tried to kind of call her away from the kind of face to face with the cat, because I wasn't sure what was going to happen. Um, she, she responded very well and she, and she left that, she left the area. Uh, let's see what else about her. Um, she's very good in the house. She's house trained. She's crate trained. Um, when she first came to our house, she was a little bit unsettled. So it took her a little while to, to settle, but now she's doing really well. And, um, she kind of occupies herself. We have a lot of toys laying around and she just kind of finds those toys and, and, um, you know, plays with them independently. Um, and uh, I th I think that's mostly it. I don't know if there's any questions, she's she loves she loves affection and loves attention. She does try to get up on our couches, but we say no, and she listens when we tell her to get down. She really knows that she's not supposed to be on them, and she gives me a little look like, yeah, okay, I tried. <laughs> um, but she's very good. This is actually her favorite bed, so that's why we videoed here because this is the bed that she knows to go to when I tell her Daisy bed. That's where she goes. Right? This is where you go. This is where you go. She's a beautiful girl. Yeah, hi. <laughs> She's very cute. And Daisy, you sound like me. I need to be on a diet. You're on a diet. <laughs> I like to go play in the sunshine outside in the backyard. You like to play in the sunshine. The only thing I don't, I don't listen when they tell me to get off the couch. <laughs> <laughs> and how do you walk on a leash, Nick? <laughs> oh, I'm great. I stop right on command. No worries. <laughs> All right. Well, guys, that is Daisy. Definitely put on those applications. Any questions, you can throw them in the chat and ask about this beautiful girl. She is fantastic. I love you, Daisy. You're so cute. Yeah. All right. Well, guys, that is Daisy. We're going to jump over to our next presenter, who's going to be Chili, as we say goodbye to Miss Daisy and hello to Chili. Hey, bye-bye. Hey, bye-bye. Bye, Daisy. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, here is Chili for everybody. Hello, this is Chili. She is one year old and about 47 pounds. She is housebroken and crate trained. Uh, she sleeps through the night. No issues. Uh, no accidents either. She really, really likes treats. <laughs> uh, she loves love. She loves to cuddle. But she's been laying here just hanging out with me the whole time while the other dogs are being spotlighted. Uh, she likes to play outside. She is all right on a on a leash, but she still needs to gain a little bit of confidence. So if she hears a loud noise, she'll try and like get away a little bit. But other than that, she is good on a leash still. Um, that's about it. She is a very easygoing dog. Uh, she's good with other dogs. Um, she ignores my cat. And she will be at the adoption event this weekend. And she loves <laughs> to play dress up. Look at that little, uh, yeah. little flower she's got going on. Oh. <laughs> and she's not trying to bite it. 
That was awesome. <laughs> what happened? Where'd it go? She's like, wait, what happened? Something just happened. I don't know what happened, really. She's trying to keep her distance, so I'll put it back on. <laughs> <laughs> She's cute. I love it. Got your little flower on. Yeah. Look at you. Play dress up. Yes. <laughs> All right, so let's see. SC just put it in the chat. The adoption event this weekend is at Caldwell & Baker on Smithtown from 11 to 2 on Saturday, guys. So that's where you can go and meet beautiful Chili. Maybe she'll be dressed up. We got some tutus out there somewhere, I know. Oh, um, yeah. We'll put, put a tutu on her. She's got that yellow lab <laughs> look going. She'll be ready to dance for everybody. <laughs> All right, with a name like Chili, you got to be a party animal. Come on. Right? Chili dog. <laughs> All right. Well, guys, that is Chili. Definitely put in those applications and come meet this beautiful girl in person. And I'm sure you'll have a great time. And now we're going to jump to our next presenter, who is going to be Juno. Give me one second to switch from the beautiful Chili to Juno. Hi. Hello, Juno. Can you hear me? <laughs> yep, you're good to go. Okay, this is Juno. Juno's 19 months old and she's about 38 pounds. Um, usually past your bedtime, but she's awake tonight. And because I've got treats, she's very focused on her treats right now. So she's a love bug, but she's a protector and she's a black mouth cur. I think she's almost a purebred, but who knows? But she's a she's a sweetheart, not a cat fan. So we've tested her with cats. That's not going to happen. She does have a small small prey instinct, so I think that's the issue with the cats. Um, she has been around at the events with other dogs. Some she likes, some she doesn't. So I think you just would have to initiate her into a pack. And um, but she's a sweetheart, and she's very active. So she wants to walk. Have a seat, Juno. Have a seat. Have a seat. Have a seat. Sit down. Show everybody your beautiful face. Um, she loves her, her twice daily walk. She loves to play fetch. She's so good with the ball. And she runs around like a lunatic outside. So she loves that. Um, what else about Juno? Um, Juno smiles. So this is something you got to know about Juno. When Juno's happy to see you, Juno will bare her teeth. And one could find that frightening, but she's wagging her tail and she is happy. And she literally smiles, gives you the biggest smiles. My husband and I just wait for that to happen as soon as we walk in the house. And it's just the most beautiful thing you've ever seen. So we call her the smiling dog because that's her, her love to do is smile um let's see what else does she like to do she's good with kids we've tested her with our seven-year-old um grandson and she's been fine with our 14 year old you know you would definitely want to you know introduce them softly like you know bring them into the house because she's a protector um but she's for sure as soon as as soon as you're in the house with her she's happy she uh she loves my housekeeper and her house my housekeeper's sister and doesn't mind the vacuum or any noises or anything like that. So that's all great. And uh, I guess that's it. That's Juno. All right, you little cutie. Look at you. You smiling. You're a smiling dog, huh? The I smile. <laughs> I, can't, I have to get some pictures of her when she smiles because it's just amazing. Yeah, definitely get some pictures so you can put them up on Facebook so people can yeah, take a look definitely. at the smiling dog. <laughs> I love it. I love it. So yeah, guys, definitely put in those applications. Meet Juno in person. And uh, also that uh, that other pet photos with the Easter Bunny, uh, that is going to be at the Petco in Selden from 11 to 2 on Sunday. So bring out your pets. Have uh, some pictures with the Easter Bunny. Uh, it's always a good time. Uh, we're also going to have a couple dogs there too for, up for adoption. So if you're looking, Take a look at the website and see who's going to be there. Uh, it should be updated sometime the next couple days. So uh, take a look. All right. Well, Juno, you did such a great job, little girl. Yes, you did. Yeah. Thanks. All right. <laughs> All right. So now we're going to jump over to our next presenter, who is going to be Tuner. 
Give me one second to switch the spotlight for our special dog tuner. What's up, dude? Little little princess. Yeah, what are you doing there? So this is this is Tuner, uh, aka Tuna. She she <laughs> having the, having my phone pointed at her is not her favorite thing in the world. She's not really sure why she's being spotlighted right now, but she really is a love. Um, she's about two years, about 35 pounds. So she's kind of like a small, small to medium sized girl. Um, she's, she's really a good mix of independent and playful. She's fine to just like hang out and do her thing and, uh, either sleep in this chair that she's kind of hanging off of right now, uh, or just hang out in her crate or in front of the wood stove. She's, she's good to just relax inside, but she, uh, she plays hard and she is happy to go for long walks as well. Um, she's super athletic during playtime. She's really, really fast and has a lot of ambition to really catch the the ball or the frisbee and puts her whole might into it. I've seen her, I've seen her do do flips and even like roll down a hill with you know the ball or the frisbee in her mouth. And uh, you know she's really good with her house manners. Um, she she waits to be invited onto onto furniture and this little blanket that she has under her she knows that that's her blanket so when it gets put somewhere she she already understands that that's her invitation which is cool um she's totally housebroken totally crate trained never had an accident or an incident she's she's really happy in her crate i just call it her little bedroom um sometimes when she gets a little overtired like she's starting to look now because we we played pretty hard this afternoon um i just tell her to to go to bed and and she'll go right into her crate. Uh, she knows all of her basic commands. Um, she has pretty good recall. She knows weight really well. That's been a really powerful one. Um, even if we're we're doing stuff outside and she's getting really amped, she she can really start calming herself and like centering herself with that weight command. Uh, she's super smart and learns really quickly. Um, what else? She uh she has this one bent ear and one upright ear all the time. Kind of see it from the angle. Super cute. <laughs> she looks so worried right now, but I assure you she's she's fine. <laughs> she's just get your phone out of my face, Katie. Um yeah, so I don't know. She's food motivated. She responds really well to treats. Um loves her veggies and her yogurt. Um she can be cuddly. She can be she can be like really sweet sometimes she comes and like sits on my lap while i work from home during the day um but it it's her preference it's when she feels like it she she won't always come and sit with you and cuddle sometimes she just wants to have her own her own time but she definitely does get cuddly too um she has the cutest little wiggle butt when uh when we get home from work or or waking up in the morning just shaking shaking that butt as fast as could be i need to get a video of it um yeah i mean that's tuna um she's she has gotten along with some dogs she's gotten along less well with other dogs uh, i think she's she's working on her social skills there um but we've definitely seen improvement my neighbor's dog um they either play really hard together or they just ignore each other at this point now that they're they're a little more used to each other. Um, so that's Tuna. <laughs> She's over it. Well, that's Tuna. <laughs> She's but... over. She's like, why are you filming me? What's going yeah. on? Yeah. She's she's got a big personality in a little package. She does. <laughs> <laughs> that she does. That she does. And uh it's okay about the uh, playing with friends and everything. I'm the same way. Sometimes we play yeah. really hard, and sometimes we're like, go away. I don't want I want to be alone. Leave me be. Right? <laughs> Phone will ring. My friend will be on the phone. I'm like, no, ignore. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's all good. It's all good. We all have our own personalities. As long as yeah. everyone understands the personalities, then we all get along. <laughs> yeah. Look at those beautiful feet. Look at those feet you got. You got some beautiful feet there. No wonder you can tear it up in the backyard. Oh, yeah. She's got right. long dancer toes. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. All right, well, guys, that is Tuna Tuner, as you'll find on the website. Definitely put in those apps and meet this beauty in person and play some ball. She loves it. I've seen videos. Trust me, she loves it. <laughs> All right, so we're going to jump over to our next presenter and let 
good old tuna tuna here go to sleep and we're going to jump over to see emory let's see what emory's up to she was just playing let's see what she's doing now baby girl all right i saw her she walked by she gave us a quick little glimpse of the beautiful emory where did she go oh there she is she's back <laughs> if, you guys at, if you guys were Emory. at the uh, the Patchog St. Patty's Day Parade, you probably saw Emery. She was the dog that was singing to everybody because of the uh, people in front of us that had all the, the different uh, bagpipes and things. Emery loved the bagpipes and she would sing with them and she would sound oh, okay. as she was singing with them all the way down Main Street. <laughs> So. That's funny. I didn't have the opportunity to walk in the parade this year. Uh, but this is Emery. Emery is absolutely, uh, if she would get in the picture, um, Emery is absolutely a very funny, sweet, affectionate, amusing hound. Um, right now she's bothering my dog, and that's probably not going to go over very well. But uh, he's getting a little old and cranky. Um, but this is Emery. She's about two years old. Um She's very fun. She's she's active, um, but she does listen. Um, she finds nice times to get calm. She likes to cuddle. She is extremely affectionate and loving. Um, she gets along great with other dogs. Um, sometimes she can be a little bit much, um, but the you know in the household we have uh, dogs that come and go. We have fosters all the time that come and go. So. You know, some of them will tell her enough's enough, and she's learned very quickly um, to listen to them. Um, she gets along fantastic and gets along with absolutely everyone. Um, let's see. Emery is approximately 34 pounds. Last time she was 34 pounds. She may have gained a little bit of weight. Um, you know, she has absolutely gained a little bit of weight, so uh, I'd have to weigh her again. But um, she's in the 30-ish pounds um wait and uh she's just a very funny happy playful hound um she's house trained she's crate trained um she knows sit he knows stay um look at those beautiful eyes isn't that amazing that's the most specular spectacular part of a hound is when they give you those eyes um at least to me i i just love it um, and, uh, so she's doing absolutely fantastic. Um, she's going to be, um, she'll be at the Petco on Sunday. Um, Emery has been around kids at the events and she has been great with them. Um, she does have a lot of energy. Um, so I would say that if she's around smaller children, just, you know, be careful if she, Jump, she would need a little bit of training, um, you know, just to learn some manners, but she does really well. Um, as you can see, you know, she is an active dog, but she is absolutely calm as well, and she enjoys uh, cuddles. She enjoys getting uh, some back scratches, and she'll just hang around and uh, enjoy you. Um, during the uh, times when other dogs were presenting, she was giving me this great big hound hug is what I call it when they press all their weight up against you. And uh, it's just like they melt into your body. Um, she does that often. And um, I call it the hound hug. And I find it absolutely amazing. I love it. Um, I find it to be just uh, spectacular. That's what I, I love about the hounds is that they tend to do that. And um, yeah, so this is Emery. I'll tell you what, she, she loved all the kids at the uh, at the parade, especially the ones in strollers, because she was eye to eye with the kids in the strollers, and she was walking oh. around, them all in the face. <laughs> some of the She's kids very... were and some of them weren't. <laughs> yes, <laughs> she is very affectionate, so, um, you know, I could definitely see her doing well with children, and yep. uh, just enjoying her time. She did fantastic with all the kids that were sitting on Main Street. And there was there was tons and tons of kids on Main Street, and she was uh, her handler that was there with her was uh, trying to keep her moving and motivated to keep moving forward in the parade because she got one to stop to play with all the kids. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sorry about the phone ringing, but 
<laughs> so, but yeah, she she did fantastic. She uh, she every time she saw another little kid, she would just brighten up and would get that uh, that look on her face where she was like, "Oh, another kid!" And she'd run over there and just uh, their handler would be like, "Okay, so make a make a pass by all the kids." And uh, she she loved the ones like I said in the strollers. The ones in the strollers, she'd get nose to nose with them and then give them a kiss and then we keep walking. And like I said, some of the kids were ready for it, some of them were not. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. She's, a she's super very sweet girl. Yeah, she's just uh she's a love. This is just a a, a loving, loving, sweet. Yeah, she's giving me the hug now. I don't know if you can say, I don't know. She's she presses now. I can't. Uh, do it, but she presses all of her weight up against me, and it's amazing. Yep, um, give more hugs like Olaf. <laughs> yeah, I love it. I absolutely love it. All right, cutie. All right, well, guys, that is Emery. Any questions? Throw them in the chat. If not, come out and see her this weekend at the uh, the pet photos. She'll be one of the pupperoos there. You can come say hi and give her hugs, and you can feel that beautiful warmness when she just snuggles in with you. All right, look at those beautiful eyes. Yeah, you're a cutie. Yes, you are. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, guys, that is Emery. We're going to jump over to our next presenter now. Let's see who's on my list. Next is Rufus. Give me one second to switch over to Rufus as we say goodbye to the beautiful Emery. Uh, what, are you, what are you doing there, Rufus? You, you hiding? Mm -hmm. This is what Rufus does most of the day. <laughs> <laughs> he was waking at us just now. He, I saw that. <laughs> so this is Rufus. Rufus is 10 years old. Um, he's about 20 pounds. And this is pretty much his speed um, for most of the day. He finds a comfy place to lay. He'll get up and walk around a bit. And then he'll go find another comfy place to lay. Um, he does get little zoomies here and there. It's hysterical. We crack up because this is his most of the day. This is his mode. But then every now and then you just see him get down and start running through the house. Um, doesn't last very long, but he does get those little those little spurts. Um, and when he's you know chilling out, he loves to be pet. When you pet him, a lot of times he'll. Uh, roll onto his back and he'll wiggle all over and he'll push your hand if you stop petting him just looking for more so he eats up the attention and love he um you know he would make a great companion dog for someone who was looking for a dog to just give their love to and have him give his love back he loves to be with people he's done great with everybody who's come in the house he walks up to them hoping they're going to give him some pets and loving um not an ounce of aggression as you can see in him so he's great with everybody um i think he'd be totally fine with kids just as long as they you know respect the fact that he is on the tinier side and he is a little bit older so he's not going to want to be roughed up too much um although my son will my son will get down there with them and uh give him some pretty heavy, pet, heavy petting and he does wiggle around and he he eats it up. So he does like that a little. Um, let's see, uh, with dogs, he is dog friendly. He seems to be most comfortable around dogs that are on the smaller side, you know, maybe not too much bigger than him. Uh, that seems to be his comfort zone as far as being with dogs. And I think he'd even probably be able to adjust to having cats around because he really has no prey drive. Uh, he goes out in the backyard and he just saunters around. He doesn't seem to notice, you know, the birds and that type of thing. So I have a feeling he would adjust pretty well to being around cats. Um, he's doing great with his being housebroken. He will tell us he goes to our back door. He either gives a little bark or if we're right there, he'll just kind of tap the door and he goes outside. And like I said, he, he likes to kind of stroll around the backyard for a while. Um, he does well in the car. He actually seems to enjoy car rides. He'll jump right in and he looks out the window as we're driving. So again, a great companion for someone, uh, you know, who wants to take him out for the day, bring him to a park. He would probably love that. And um, I don't know. I think that's 
pretty much everything, Rufus? I think so. That's him, just kind of a chill guy looking for someone to give him lots of love and attention. That's right, a, Rufus? Right? That's what we're all looking for. Somebody that's nice looking and for easy. love and attention. <laughs> <laughs> Look at you. Uh-oh. What'd you hear? <laughs> what do you see? What do you see? You see something. Oh, tell, where are you going, Ruf? Tell us, Rufus. What where is it? Going? What is it? Where are you going? <laughs> <laughs> something caught his attention. He's like, well, I did something, but got to think about, that? is it worth jumping off the couch or not? <laughs> he's, he's shaking his head. No, that's what that was. That was no, <laughs> he's like, no. oh, oh, no, no. <laughs> that, that actually shows the size right there. He is a tiny little man. <laughs> yeah, he's very tiny, petite. There we go. Rufus wants to show his size a little bit. <laughs> Look at you, cutie. <laughs> <laughs> see, and now he's just looking for the next couch to jump on. So <laughs> yep, he's like, uh, let's see, where am I gonna go now and lay down, and relax, <laughs> lounge around for the next 10 hours? <laughs> yeah, he's got the life. <laughs> yes, you do, buddy. <laughs> All right. Well, guys, that is Rufus. Definitely put in those applications and meet this gorgeous guy in person as he's looking yeah. for something. Something's got his attention. <laughs> 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 that wagging tail. All right. Well. Definitely any questions, throw them in the chat. If not, we're going to jump over to our next presenter, who's going to be Earl. Give me one second to spotlight Earl. Hi, Rufus. All right, guys, here is Earl. <laughs> Hello. So this is Earl. <clears throat> in order to keep Earl in one place with the camera, my son is playing with him. He is, um, I think he may be a full yellow lab. He's got those big lab mitts. But he looked very cute upside down, Earl. He is um, about 60 pounds. Um, his spine and um, ribs were kind of showing uh, when we got him about a week ago. So he's been putting on a few pounds. So he's probably a little bit more than 60 at this point. But he could uh, use to gain a few more. He's um, crate trained. He um, sleeps in there all night, keeps his crate clean. Um, we also feed him in the crate because we've got um, three other dogs in the house. So it just makes for a calmer um, dinner time. And he loves to play with toys, as you can see. Um, fetches and then like tries to play keep away with you not so much bring it back to you um loves to run around in the yard with the other dogs um probably a dog his own size um generally speaking would he would probably get along better with um than a smaller dog he's super gentle um very loving um loves belly rubs as you can see yes don't you earl you're a good boy yes you are um, he walks well on a leash. He will, however, pull if um, there is either another dog on a leash that he would want to go say hello to or if he sees a squirrel that he thinks would be fun to chase. Um, I do not have cats. I really don't know how he would be around cats. Um, he did spend the night with a cat um, last Saturday and he got a little scratch on the nose. So I'm not sure if he's really a a cat dog. <laughs> um, well, like I said, you know, we've got the three other dogs in the house, so he gets along well with them and plays with them. And he's just a, just a great pup. He's, uh, he's a little bit of a love for sure. And that's about it with Earl. Right, buddy? Yes. I might have missed it. How old is Earl? Um, about a year. They say about he's a like a year. Yeah, a year and a month, a year and two months. So. <laughs> <laughs> he's having fun <laughs> he's having so much fun he just wants to <laughs> lay there and kick his feet in half. <laughs> I love it yeah, good. I love it having fun time there buddy <laughs> <laughs> and I love how he uses his front paws too That's yeah very like, smart <laughs> alright well guys this is Earl as you can tell fun loving pup looking for everything for looking for that forever home, some kids to play with, to have yep. fun, run around. Still got that <laughs> young young dog energy ready to go. 
<laughs> and yeah, it does does have that uh, that yellow golden lab look to them. So definitely yeah. could be something in there. All right, right. Bud. Good job, Earl. You did great. Good job, buddy. Yes, you did. Yeah. All right. Well, guys, that is Earl. We're going to jump to our next presenter here, which is going to be Archie. Give me one second to switch the spotlight so we can show Archie. Thank you. Hi, Archie. All right, guys. Here is the Archman looking to do another puzzle and show you how smart he is. This is Archie, and Archie got a new puzzle, so he's just checking it out. Uh, this is his first time with it. Um, Archie is about a year and a half old. He's 44 pounds, and he has maintained that weight consistently. Um, Archie's very smart. Uh, he knows a couple of commands, um, and he's pretty fast to learn them. So if you're somebody who wants a dog who's going to learn a bunch of stuff and you want to work with them, he's your guy. Um, he enjoys training sessions and, uh, you know, the training sessions with me are all uh, positive with reinforcers. Um, so he has a lot of fun during that, and uh, he enjoys that. Um, Archie's great at playing ball. Uh, if you throw the ball, he will go get it, and it will be back at your feet. Um, he brings it back to you. He definitely does a great job with his retrieving skills. Um He's house trained completely. He's trait trained. Um, I can leave him for a, you know, a work day and he's fine. Anything. Um, but he can also stay in the crate. No, he doesn't have a problem with it either. Sorry, that's my dog. He's a little jealous right now because I have him on the other side. Um, and, uh, yeah, so this is Archie. He's absolutely a lot of fun. He's great. He gets along with other dogs. Um, I don't have any cats, but I heard that he had lived with a cat at one point, and he's um, fine. Come here, Archie. And uh, he's great with cats, so he's great with dogs. Um, with the dogs, sometimes if they're larger, he needs a slow introduction, but once he gets to know them, he knows that uh, it's safe and a good situation. He's fine. Um, I've had up to seven dogs in the house and he's gotten along, uh, with everybody and, um, yeah, so, uh, that's my boy, Archie. Yep. That's Archie dudes. He's such a cool little man. He's, uh, such a, such a bright guy. Learning is oh. like his number one thing. Oh. Positive reinforcements. He just, <laughs> he just does great with it. So uh, this dog is probably one of those dogs that uh, if you're ever interested in agility, he'd be fantastic. Sit down. Sit down for everybody. What a good boy. Can you lay down? Will you lay down? I know I don't have a treat or anything, but that's a good boy. And I don't have anything to give him. He's just listening to me. Um, stay. Archie, come. Archie, sit. Okay, down. Good boy. And I don't have anything for him. Um, he's just doing that because uh, I'm asking him to. Um, you know, sometimes if he's very distracted, he might not listen to the commands right away. Um, but he knows all of them, and uh, he's a lot of fun. Archie, up. Oh, good boy, Paul. That's a good boy. Ah. Oh. Yeah. Like that. He's anticipating what you're going to ask. He knows. <laughs> he does. He knows. He's like, okay, I know if I go up, I need to do something. Yep. She's coming down. She's bending down. <laughs> <laughs> That's very smart there, buddy. You're like, wait, I can do this. I can anticipate what you're going to ask. I'm that smart. <laughs> yep. Yep. He is. He is. And he'll give you that head tilt. I just love it when he tilts his head waiting for you. So Especially he's a good boy. You say something he doesn't know. He's like, wait. I don't know that one. You know I don't know that one. What are you talking about? <laughs> I know. Mo's making a lot of noise. I know. It's all right, Archie. <laughs> all right. Well, guys, that is Archie. Definitely put in those applications and meet this beautiful guy. He's a love. Just so sweet and so smart. Can't go wrong with the Archman. All right, dude. You did a great job. Keep it up. You're so smart. I love it. I just love it. 
All right. All right. Well, guys, that is our virtual event for tonight. We had one more dog slotted, but they could not make it on. They were having issues with their data, and uh, so they couldn't jump on with it tonight. That was Benny. If you want to learn more about Benny, you can always go on to the Last Chance website or onto their Facebook page to hear and see more about that beautiful guy. But I will leave it open to the floor for a moment to see if anybody out there, adopter-wise, has any questions about the events this weekend, pet photos with the Easter Bunny, or just a dog in general, before I close it out. All right, I think we're all good. I think we answered all the questions tonight with the app coordinators out there. So I'd like to say thank you to all the uh, potential adopters out there that jumped on tonight to look at our beautiful lineup of dogs. And thank you to all the fosters that took time out to be here and foster and watch the dogs and come on and tell us all about them. With that, we will say good night and we'll see you on the next virtual event next week. Have a good one and enjoy the rest of the weekend, guys.